with that performance there? Yeah, very happy. Um, obviously, they would have been nervous. Um, foreign, sorry, foreign territory, um, being away from home, things like that. They've never played on services like this either, I think. So, um, overall, very happy. Things to work on, but overall, they should be very happy with themselves. And as staff, we're very proud of them. Elsie, congratulations on the win. I saw a couple of your players during the national anthem get very emotional. How does it feel to hear the national anthem and to be representing your country at a World Cup? It's always something special when you like represent um, your country in a foreign land. So I think it's always um, it's always a pleasure, and like we having pride in our country, like uh, that in a way like gets us emotional as well. So yeah, I think just being emotional and um, you know happy that you know putting put up the performance for the game. Has the support from back home been good? Um, I think it'll be good after the win. Um, you know, a lot of people saying a lot of stuff, but you know, we've totally closed our ears from the outside um, and then like just concentrated on ourselves. And I think um, I think it'll change um, with time and uh, the performance that we put in the field. And Elsie, how much has changed um, with rugby league in Papua New Guinea since the last World Cup, which was the Orchids' first first World Cup? Yeah, I think, um, you know, uh, the experience that, um, for example, like myself going into the NRLW and I think that, you know, inspires a lot of girls back home to, um, you know, see someone coming off from like a grassroots playing in PNG and then to get to that stage and play, I think that inspires the girls back home and I think that in itself like um, um, creates more number of girls wanting to participate in like rugby league back home. Martha, Martha, what's it like, like to be able to showcase your, uh, your skills on a, on a world stage, a record crowd um, for a women's international in this in this country, and you count with two pretty sensational tries? Um, I'd say I'm very thankful that I came. I mean, I was selected, and back home, I'm like I'm representing all my sisters back home too, and it's um, very great and honor to be in this game here. Yeah. To show my talent, yeah. And Ben, would you have any comment on, on those couple of scores? Oh, absolutely. Um, Martha's a talent, and she's she's proven that uh, over the twelve months. This is why she's on the big stage now. And um, like I said, I'm proud of proud of all the girls. We're proud of her. And um, she had faced a little bit of adversity from at the start with a couple of errors, but um, she pulled through very well and thoroughly deserved a couple of tries and uh, player of the match award. Martha, were they say? I thought they said on the commentary that your, your father played for the Colonels. Yes, uh, he was the Kumo one four seven back in nineteen ninety one, and that was his dream, and it was my dream to follow him too. So yeah. Yeah. So what does it mean to you? To uh, it's 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 really great. I mean. Um, it's, she, an, yeah. it's an honour. Um, yeah. She's the first, Martha's the first father and daughter uh, to ever play for Cornwall slash Orchids. So um, that was mentioned last night in their presentation, the Jersey presentation, and yeah, she was quite emotional around that part as well. And, and I think you said, said um, on the broadcast that that was um, um, his dream for you to play for the Orchids. Yes. Uh, Back home, it's to encourage me to um, tell me to do what I really want. So I told him that I, I really want to play rugby just like him. So he used to give me advice, he used to make commitment and um, effort and submit yourself, and then you'll be somebody else and you'll be like, be like me to represent our country. Yeah. And, and um, I think you said you're like representing your sisters. Um, and the, the, the players from P, uh, from P and G that come out here, but like as Elsie was talking about, you know, playing in the RLW, like I think we've probably seen tonight that there's there's a lot more players that can follow Elsie into the RLW. Is that a is that a dream as well? Yes, it's a dream for every girl in P and G to be like Elsie Albert, to sign a contract and show our talent. Yeah. Did the message? change at all um, for half time that you had going into the game because Canada really hung with you at the start there. Yeah, yeah, so um, yeah, half time was very firm. <laughs> um, 
and there was a bit of honesty and these girls uh, like the honesty this is part of the female game that, that they really enjoy embrace um, sometimes they don't like hearing it but um, they responded very well and as I said uh, they thoroughly deserved a victory in the end and um, yeah there was a firm talking at the half time um, we've seen in the men's game um, two countries, you know, Greece and Jamaica, make their debut, and then say we saw Brazil in the women's game, and no one's come further than the Orchids in in five years. You know, I, I guess the benefit of being included and getting the opportunity is uh, is obviously enormous, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. So I understand what they went through in the first World Cup and to get to this World Cup. Um, it's a little bit like chalk and cheese. How um, part of the response that they got when they, uh, I suppose played in that 2017 World Cup, uh, probably wasn't great uh, from the home country as well, but these girls are here, as a, you'll probably hear me say this many times, they're here to compete and they're here to change the face of rugby league in, in PNG and they will do that. Elsie, could you hear the crowd support? Did you enjoy that? Yes, definitely. Um, you know, playing in the field, like, you know, hearing the support you get, like, that... Um, you know, that pushes you even though like you're trying to give up in the field when you hear the support you just want to like just push on and like keep going so yeah it's it's great that you know we have that support in England as well and like um yeah it's pretty stoked that you know the girls stick stick in there and then like um, to get that win uh yeah I think so yeah so Shelley Long who come off with about 12 wins to go she passed the HI by all all accounts so um we'll just monitor her over the next few days. Uh, I thought she played very well as well, but we weren't going to risk it to put it back on. I think uh, just a couple more niggles more than a couple of corks, dead legs, things like that. So uh, overall, I think pretty sure we're fit and healthy out of this game. One more question for the PNG media that has been covered. Uh, what will be the areas of focus for the next few days leading to the Brazil match? Oh, first and foremost, obviously, we'll get some medicals done. They'll do a review. They'll do some recovery and things like that. But then um, with the Women's World Cup being so compact, it's about being strategic on who, who plays the next game and then the next game after that. So um, at the moment, cross, cross our fingers, we've got uh, 22 healthy players. There's one unfortunate uh, injury uh, that's come through in Roswita Res Carpo. She's unfortunately uh, unavailable for the rest of the tournament. Um, but um, she played a massive part in the sheds just a minute ago, so she's a bit of a ringleader around the team song and things like that. So it's all good. always good to have players like that amongst them when, when they get an injury. But um, the main focus probably more so defence than anything, but there's not much we can do with them in four days. So they need to recover, and um, it's about them putting it on against Brazil in, on Saturday. Elsie, that was the first time the Orchids have sung a victory song at a World Cup. Describe the scenes in there. Oh, it's, um, you can't really describe the feeling. Um, yes, of course, it's our first win, and um, some of us um, didn't actually know the words to the victory song, but, um, you know, we finally, you know, get that win, and uh, we sang that victory song, so, like, it's, it's a proud moment for me as a captain to, you know, lead the team into the game and then to have that first win, and like, um, like Ben said, like, we... Um, just uh, get into our preparations and um, yeah, get ready for the next game.